Hi everyone, in this short video I will demonstrate how to do project crashing in Microsoft Project. The principles that I'm showing in this um, video are the same and similar for every project. So uh, I'm doing this on a construction project, but it doesn't matter what type of project you are working on. The first step is to evaluate the current uh, situation of the project and uh, understand the need for project crashing. So we can go to project tab, project information and see the statistics. As you can see, uh, we are behind the schedule with eight, eight days of variance and uh, the baseline shows that we should complete the project in 248 days, but it's not the case at the moment. So we should start crashing the first step uh, in the view tab. We should check uh, the details box. So task forms are now seen at the bottom of the page. We need to uh, select good candidates for uh, crashing. And these are activities which are in progress or uh, which haven't been started yet. Also, they should have uh, reasonable duration, so the uh, crashing can be easily done. As you can see, I have uh, this activity number 32 with a duration of one week. It's uh, a potential candidate for crashing. Also, 35 is a good activity um, with a duration of one week again, and also 38. So let's select uh, activity 32. As you can see, three resources are working on this activity and it's a labor intensive uh, activity, so very good for crashing. Two units of electrician, let's increase this to three units. Uh, we have uh, one audio and one video expert, so let's double uh, resource availability in here. Remember, there is an effort-driven uh, box in here. We should remove the check. And also, we can introduce some overtime work uh, to our resources. 15 hours for electricians and half of this for other resources. This is up to you and it is based on the level of resources you have in the project. So when we have introduced these two, let's press OK. As you can see, the duration of the project is now reduced to 0.5 weeks. We can go to project information and see how uh, total duration of the project has been changed. As you can see, the variance is now 5.6 days. So we need to crash uh, once more time. Let's uh, select activity 35 with four uh, with three resources in here, one supervisor, two electricians, and one rigger. So we can again increase the level of uh, resource availability and basically double uh, the amount of resources we have. So 200 uh, in here, 400 in here, and 200 for riggers. Again, this effort-driven check should be removed. And we can have a hybrid strategy and, uh, you know, introduce some overtime to these uh, resources. 15 hours for supervisor, as an example, 30 hours for electrician and 15 for uh, riggers. So let's press OK. And as you can see, the duration of the activity is reduced to 0.3 weeks. Let's check project information and the statistics. So now the variance of uh, our project is reduced to 2.6 days. One more activity to be crashed and activity 38 is a good candidate with five resources working on that. So again, a very resource intensive activity. We remove this check for effort driven and then we should increase the level of resource availability. So let's increase uh, uh, the resources and double the amount of uh, supervisors and other resources. So 240 40%, 40%, 200 and 400 for uh, the last resource, which is the electrician. And now we can introduce some overtime work as well. So 
let's uh, assume 15 hours for supervisor 3 and 3 hours for the next 2 and then again 15 hours and uh, 30 hours for the last resource when we press ok as you can see the duration is now reduced to 0.3 weeks and we should now check the project information and the statistics to sh see how uh, project duration has changed as you can see our variance is now very close to zero and we can finish the project based uh, on the initial plan and baseline so as i mentioned earlier the principles we discussed are the same for every project and you can apply it easily thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my video youtube channel for weekly videos about uh, engineering and project management thank you